Today I'm gonna to show you how you can very quickly and very easily make an interval timer for your workouts in less than five minutes using Premiere Pro and it starts right now. I think one of the biggest frustrations uh, as a YouTuber when it comes to fitness and workout videos is trying to create videos that are professional and polished and competitive in, in a very competitive landscape. And um, we don't all have expensive cameras and lighting equipment and people helping us and stuff like that. But that doesn't change the fact that there are things we can do to improve the experience for the user on the other end. One of the most important ones is an interval timer for your workouts. It looks good on screen. It helps them keep track of where they are in the workout. Um, but a lot of people that I speak to have trouble finding interval timers, making interval timers, um, like all of that kind of stuff. So what we're gonna do today, I'm gonna show you a very quick and very easy way to make an interval timer. You only have to make it one time and you can use it basically for all your workouts going forward. So you guys ready? Let's not waste any time, let's get started. All right guys, so as you can see, we've got Premiere Pro open. Uh, we're gonna get through this quick because I wanna show you just how simple it is. Uh, first thing that I wanna do is I wanna actually just pull down uh, just a random video that I can use as kind of a, a framework for all of this. So I'm just gonna pull down the sandbag workout um, and we're all set there. Next thing I wanna do is you're gonna go down to the bottom. You can see all the different icons here and you're gonna go to where it says new item right here. Click on that, you're gonna click on transparent video and it comes up new transparent video, okay. That's gonna pop up here. I'm gonna double click on it. I'm gonna drag that over the top of my video. Um, this can be as long or like th these interval timers can be as long or short as you want them to be. Um, for the purpose of this, I'm going to make it uh, one minute long. There we go. So that is now one minute. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our effects tab. If you don't already have that open, go into effects and you're going to search for time code. So if I just put in time, you can see time code pops down here. I'm going to drag that down onto the screen. I'm gonna make this exactly 60 seconds. Okay, so you can see now where this starts. Obviously there's a lot of numbers there and it's also kind of a random number. So let's get this set up. I'm gonna double click on my transparent video. I'm gonna go into the effects controls. Now there's a few things that we wanna keep in mind here. I'm gonna actually make, uh, I'm gonna go into the positioning and I'm just gonna bring this up so you guys can see it. So I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna double the size. So it's a little bigger there now. Let's bring it up to the middle where it's kind of, you can see it over the brick. Um, now, first and foremost, you can see that there's a, a black shadow behind the actual numbers. You may or may not want to use that. If you don't, all you need to do is to go into the tab that says opacity and you go to your blend mode. For blend mode, I want you to click on screen and that removes the black. So the black's out of the way now. Again, you may wanna keep that, you may wanna add something, but we will get into that shortly. So now that the background's removed, the next thing we wanna do is go down to field symbol here. Um, you can see there's different uh, functions with format. Um, format gives you some different options. We actually want it to be SMPTE, so make sure you have it on there. Um, time, code so time code source is set for media. You're gonna change that to generate. And you can see once I do that, it's gonna reset everything back to zero, which is what I want it to be at the start right now. Uh, time display is set for 24. This is very important. 24 is your frame rate of your video. You want that number to match the frame rate of the video you record. So if you use your phone and you record 60 frames a second, then you want this thing to be set for 60. Um, if you do 30 frames, set for 30. In my case, I actually do shoot 24 frames, so I'm leaving that at 24 frames. If you don't make sure this matches up with your video, um, you could possibly have the, it, it won't synchronize uh, well, especially if you're using a timer while you're filming and then you're trying to match it up later, you, you risk it not, um, not actually matching up. So make sure it's set the same as what your video is uh, when you set your video things before you record. So that is all set. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back over to effects and we're gonna look for crop. Crop pops up, I'm gonna drag that down onto my transparent video it back on screen there. So when I drag this down, you can see here's crop. It's the left and the right. So what I'm doing, all I want is a second. So I'm just gonna drag this across. You can see it starts to eliminate some things. Um, 
get rid of my milliseconds. So there we go. Now I've just got my seconds. That's what I want. That's pretty traditional videos and I think that that's all I personally need. You may want something different, but that's up to you. So we now have that. Now obviously the next problem is that this should be counting down, not counting up. Quick fix. You're gonna go into your transparent video, you're gonna do a right click and you're gonna go up to where it says nest. Once you click on nest, it's gonna come up nested sequence. You can call this whatever you want. I'll just call it a timer. And you can see it actually turns, um, turns that bar green. So now what that allows me to do is I'm going to right click on it again and I'm gonna go up to where it says speed duration. Open that one up. Don't touch the speed, that's all good, but you're gonna do right here where it says reverse speed, I want you to check that off. And hit okay. Now you can see it's actually reversed the numbers. So instead of it being at one second, it's actually counting down from 50. And somehow my blend mode went back. So I gotta go back to blend mode and I'm gonna click on screen again, so that's out of the way. So now we've kinda of got the numbers set up, now it's a matter of positioning and things like that. I usually, to be safe, I'm gonna open up my safe margins, which is just a right click, hit safe margins. This kinda of shows you just where you're safe to put your, your uh, timer without it falling off the screen or anything like that. So as long as it's within those parameters, I know it's gonna stay on screen. So I'm thinking somewhere up here is where I'd like to put it. I'd also like to see it a little bit bigger still. So I'm gonna go with uh, scale 130. Again, this can be whatever you want. So. Now that that's in place there, I'll just remove my safe margins. So now we've got a fully functional timer on the timeline. The next thing that I want to do, um, it's nice to be able to kind of pizzazz it up a little bit um, for two reasons. So the numbers pop and also just to make it kind of blend with any kind of colors you're using with your brand and with your fitness company. So you can go onto Google and, and search for almost any kind of different shape or anything that you can layer underneath that. So I've already done this and what I came up with, I just, I just Googled a uh, circle. So this is what I came up with. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that underneath my timer. So I got the circle up there, bringing this down, set it for the same duration of time. Obviously it's not matched up yet. And again, this can be whatever you want it to be. It can be a square, a circle, it can be any color you want it to be. Um, it's totally up to you. I just went for circle and just randomly, this is what I came up with. Um, all right, so that's pretty good size there. Uh, I'm just gonna go, if you go down here, I can, I can make this a little bigger. Um, I, I'm very much attention to detail. I wanna make sure that this is centered uh, around my numbers which right now it's a little bit off. Um, so that's pretty good. Okay, so now you can see it's basically a 60 second countdown timer. Now, to make this easy for you, this is what I'm going to recommend. You can just use this as is, you can splice it up, you can do whatever you wanna do with it. Um, again, I'm just showing you how to do it. I made a 60 second, you can make a 60 minute one if you really feel like it. But now that that's set up, I'm actually gonna export just the timer and I'll show you why here in a second. So what I wanna do, I don't wanna export it with this video. So I'm going to eliminate that so it's just a black screen. Now, when it goes to export, I'm gonna go File, Export media. Your format needs to be set for QuickTime. And then you go down to effects, video, audio, captions, publish. You wanna be on video, video codec. You wanna set this for animation. And then if you take this little bar here and scroll down, very important that you check render at maximum depth. And for depth, you want eight BPC plus alpha. This is the one you want to click. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna make it like a PNG file where you can actually drop this over any video and it's gonna basically just, just be that part. It's not gonna fill the whole screen. So very quickly now, I'm gonna change this to timer, call it timer one or timer 60 since it's 60 seconds. I'm just gonna put it on my desktop. 
and export. So the beauty of video, it's saying that it's nine minutes. I'm gonna speed this up right now. Okay, now that's finished exporting. So I'm gonna quickly uh, drag it from my desktop back into the uh, actual project file. And I don't need this anymore. I can get rid of the actual project I just built. Uh, I'm gonna bring up my actual video again. And now I've actually got this timer that's ready-made and I can drag it. I just need the video portion of it right over the top of my project. And as you can see, it's right there. So it's just the one file now and it goes through. The great thing about this is that you can make this any denomination of time. Like if you do a lot of interval workouts and you change things around a lot, let's say you're doing 40, 20. Um, all you need to do is basically go down now go to 41. Now I just start going frame by frame until it hits 40. And I'm going to shrink that down, drag it to here. And now just for fun, I'm going to wait till this goes to 20 and I'm going to break this up. Okay. So I just cut that up and option click and drag and that duplicates that file. So now this starts at 40, works its way down, and then I've got 20 seconds of rest. And then I can just basically, if I wanted to loop that again, option, highlight, drag, and then the whole thing will start again. Okay, down and then 20. So, so that's it guys. That's a very quick and easy way to implement interval timers into your videos. As I said, you can change up colors, you can change up shapes, um, you can have different colors for rest periods versus work sets. Whatever you're doing with your videos, this is a great way to implement a timer so people know where they are and it really looks good on your videos and gives it a really nice polished uh, style. So that's it for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a like. Comment below if you have questions and I will talk to you guys again soon. Take care.